Peggy 7. The creatures in the Book of Spells are created from the text and the illustrations of the book. When developing the creatures, we start off with a design from the uh, game designers, um, outlining where they're going to be used in the game. From there, I would sit down and work with a concept artist to uh, flesh out initial sketches and ideas what these things are going to look like. You've got the initial uh, model, what it looks like, its form, its structure, its colouring, and then we need to try and make it move. When we get involved, obviously, we, uh, we have to allow these characters to move. We have to give them the means to do that and um, for that we build a uh, skeleton that you can basically place inside that model. Um, once that's complete we can then um, effectively automate parts of that skeleton um, so you can put a control on the hand and then when you grab that control you can just move it around like that and it's nice and easy, it just works itself out. Um, we do that with the whole character and, uh, and then when we're finished with that we can pass it over to the character animators. My favourite part in, in, in animation is, is actually the, the planning, the, the research and, and going and thinking about the character and the, and the personality and, uh, and what they would think, uh, how they would act and how it, they would you know, specifically react to, to a certain situation. And then once we have this creature that's got certain animations then I will you know, combine these together and it really brings that original concept to life. I think one of my favourite creatures to develop was the dragon, mostly because it was the first creature I got my hands on, so I could experiment a bit and see what worked and what didn't work. And I discovered I could combine different animals to make a new one. So for example with the dragon, I combined a leopard, a vulture and a pig to make the dragon's voice. But the dragon's movement and wing flaps were actually sourced from fire sounds. So anytime you hear a dragon flapping his wings, it's actually the sound of a fireball. The characters definitely go through uh, a, a process of development where they might start off, we might think of them in one way at first, and then as we work through the through the situations that they're in, we might think of different, the more entertaining ways for them to sort of express their, their personalities. I think the reason kids love creatures, and especially creatures in games, is because of their fantastical nature. You know, they take you to another world. Um, you don't see them in everyday life. Um, so to come up against them and, and see how they actually uh, move and how they react is, is something that kids really love. 